Hello everybody, this is Chris with Hot Spot Metals in Chicago here today to show you how to clean all of your rare numismatic coins. Time for Hot Spot Metals, the spot for precious metals news, views, education and research. All right, all right, calm down. That was just a teaser to get you to watch the video. I am not going to clean all my rare numismatic coins today. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to give a certain young lady a bath. Her name is Anna Williams. Let's find out who Anna Williams really is. As probably a lot of you already know, let me bring this over here with the miracle of new technology. I have a quick synopsis of who Miss Anna Williams is. She was the model for the Morgan Silver Dollar. And the interesting story behind that is that the designer of the coin, George T. Morgan, was searching the United States for a model for this coin. And his art teacher, Dr. Henry Linderman, introduced him to Anna Williams, and he asked Anna to pose for the coin, and she was reluctant, but she did, and she sat for five sittings, and now the Morgan design is what we have on that coin from 1876 uh, on for, what, until 1921, and it is a beautiful design, and she has a beautiful face, but not in the bargain bin at the coin show. Actually, okay, here's the rest of the interesting story. She did it. She didn't want any, anybody to know she posed for the coin. She kept it secret until somebody in the press got a hold of the information, released her name, and she actually lost her job as a teacher for having actually just posed for an artist. Amazing, huh? So don't tell me things haven't changed. I think uh, anybody can pose for anything now they want, right? So let's have a look at Anna. And as you can see here, she's quite the dirty girl. Looks like she got a little scrape in the face. Uh, this is a 1921 Morgan, by the way, if you can't tell from the video. Very common year. She's in really rough shape. Uh, I got her for about, I don't know, a buck or two over spot. I think that we can afford to take this common coin and give her a bath and show a little decency here. I'm going to practice with a couple of other uh, coins here that are pretty rough shape. I've got a couple of uh, prospectors here. 1984 prospector with the old Inglehard logo on them. I, th I thought 1984 they switched to the Eagle. Must have been 1985. But anyway, these were also just barely over spot. And we'll just do a little test cleaning on those. I'm going to follow some instructions I found on SD Bullion. This is strictly not for any coins of any numismatic value. Uh, I might clean up my favorite little silver bar I like to play with. This is out and I just have to have something to touch. So I leave that out and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and dip it and see if it has any effect. Really no big deal. Anyway, hang on while we put this rig together. I'm going to have to switch the camera down and you can look at what we're doing and let's just see how it comes out. Conveniently, it is now 7.55 p.m., so at 8 p.m., we shall be ready to remove our coins.
Okay, it is now 8 o'clock and we can retrieve our coins from this bath. Now what SD Bullion said was is that you might need to do a couple of cycles of this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse them over here. Okay, so now I'm supposed to take a soft cloth, which I have, a very gentle and soft washcloth that I use on my very own face, so it's good enough for Anna's face as well. I think that this has done quite a bit. That has removed quite a bit of grime. It's not shiny. It is not shiny. However, it is much cleaner. Uh, on the prospectors, just kind of rubbing and cleaning these a little bit with the soft cloth. Let's see what this does. Okay. This did pretty much nothing. So I learned a couple of interesting and useful things about this recipe for cleaning your coins that I found at SD Bullion. And that is that this is a coin cleaning approach, not a coin shining approach. And frankly, I like that a lot better. If you look at the coins above, I think the results were about as good as you're going to get from a silver dollar in a rough and tumble uh, grab box at a coin show. This was in there with a bunch of other very rough looking coins. And now I, I can kind of see the character of it. The cracks and crevices that had just gunk in them are cleared out. And it's once again an attractive coin all on its own, even though it's a common 1921 Morgan. It still has an interesting and nice patina and still has its own shine, just not white shiny. And let's be serious. A coin of this age with these kind of scuff marks and things that would be bright, bright white and shiny, I think would look ridiculous. And you're not going to fool anybody. Everybody's just going to, their first reaction is, well, that's a cleaned coin. Well, this is a cleaned coin too, but it is not an overly cleaned coin. We just got the dirt off of it, really. And so I appreciate that as the first approach to cleaning coins. I'm well aware that there's nuclear options, uh, chemicals you can buy, uh, mix other mixtures you can make, maybe the one that uses the vinegar and salt. I believe that that cre creates somewhat of a acidic or uh, corrosive type of solution because they warn you not to leave your coins in it too long. I mean, that's like a dip for like 10 seconds thing and they warn that you can create pits well i mean this coin doesn't have any new pits it had its own original kind of scratches everywhere but now i kind of like anna williams and i'm going to keep her probably sell her someday at a coin show when when that's my gig but at that time, I think that she'll actually be more appealing than the day I picked her out of the grab out of the uh, uh, variety box or whatever this guy called it. <laughs> it was just a box of messed up silver dollars. So I might actually buy more of those and use this gentle cleaning procedure to just kind of bring them into respectable order. So give me your ideas on what you saw here today. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and come to Facebook. Leave comments there as well. And if you want a great deal on your first order from SD Bullion, go to sdbullion.com forward slash hotspot. Until next time, this is Chris with Hotspot Metals signing off. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and look for special offers at hotspotmetals.com.